Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about five ways that you can better improve your presence on Zoom or any other kind of video calls. Here's the thing about Zoom and other video calls. You are on stage more than you are in person. When you're on a video call, somebody can be watching you and you have no idea what they're paying attention to and how much they are noticing. So it really is important to make sure that your presence is good. First of all, your background in Zoom is super, super important, whether it is a real background or whether it is a virtual background. You never know how people may be showing your video in full screen and really looking at what's behind you. I've had people comment on some of my videos that I'm doing right now on camera, and they're really checking out the different books in my background and really looking at different things. And I had no idea that people are paying that much attention, but they really are. You may go, oh my gosh, you know, I am having to do Zoom or video calls in my kitchen or in a hotel room are in a place that doesn't have a great background. Anybody can load these virtual backgrounds. They're so easy and so many of them are free. I've got a link in the description below to some of the sites where you can get free Zoom backgrounds. Now, the things you wanna be aware of is if your call is a professional call, you probably don't wanna have palm trees and ocean in the background, unless it's people that you really know well and you're very comfortable with. But if it's an interview or a serious business meeting, have a professional background and choose a background that complement your skin tone, the colors that, of clothes that you're wearing. It really does make a difference. You may be wearing a certain color shirt one day and your Zoom background looks horrible with that color. And then another day, it may look absolutely wonderful. And before the Zoom call starts, turn on your camera with the Zoom background to see how it looks. And number two is the position of the camera. I see so many people on Zoom calls that they are above the camera and therefore they are looking down into the camera whenever they're on the call. That's usually not a very flattering shot. And so make sure, even if you have to pile up a stack of books to make sure that, that your computer or your phone or whatever you're using so that your camera is eye level and you're not looking down at it. The third way to improve your presence is by looking through the camera when you speak. Notice, I didn't say look at the camera when you speak because most of us who have done Zoom and other video calls for a while, we all know that, that we're supposed to look at the camera. But what I'm talking about is looking through the camera. When you do that, it really does give you a different depth to your eye contact. So it really does make your eye contact even seem more direct to the person than if you're just looking at the camera. And what you can do if you want feedback from the facial expressions of other people on the call, you can periodically look around the screen. Just make sure whenever you're talking that most of the time you're looking through the camera. Now, if you're liking this, I hope you'll like this video and subscribe to my channel. The fourth way to improve your presence is through pleasant facial expressions. This is something that we all have to be intentional on. I have worked on this for years and sometimes I still fail, but we have to be super intentional. When you think about it, whenever you're on a Zoom call and you're on camera, this is all people have to go by. They can't go by other parts of your body language to tell if you are engaged or not. And so by forcing yourself, even when you're listening, to have a curious, pleasant facial expression is huge. Because you can be engaged, but if you just have a thinking expression on your face like this, it may look like you're bored or disengaged or unhappy with something. So periodically, when you're on a Zoom or another video call and you're listening, periodically do a self-check. Look at yourself and your facial expression. 
what other mechanism do we have to be able to look at ourselves in real time as how we're coming across? It really is a gift to be able to be in a conversation or in a meeting and to actually be able to see what we look like. And the fifth way to improve your presence on Zoom is by going back and watching recorded video calls and watching yourself. And specifically, watch yourself with the sound on. What do you sound like? Are you interrupting other people? Are you talking too long? Oh my gosh, when I go back and watch myself, I feel like it's agony because I go back and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I was interrupting people or I was going on and on. But it's not until I go back and watch myself that I realize it. Is it fun? No, it is not fun at all, but it makes me more aware. Am I using filler words such as, you know, you know what? I'm using them a lot, and, but it's making me more self-aware so that next time we'll be more intentional about having a better presence on Zoom.